Recognizing the anomalies in the Ukkadam car explosion, the Tamil Nadu BJP chief K. Annamalai has unequivocally demanded the police accept that this is not a mere explosion but a suicide attack. The recovery of 50 kilograms of ammonium nitrate, potassium, other explosive material from the residence of Jamesha Mubin and other materials such as nail shards found in the car are grounds in which the TN BJP has written to the Home Minister Amit Shah. 19 people have been detained after members of two communities clashed near Muslim Medical Center in Panigate, Vadodara, Gujarat over the bursting of crackers during Diwali celebrations on Monday night. Police responded immediately and the situation is under control in the region. An investigation is on into the cause and conflagration into incident. Cyclone Sitrang weakened into a depression over northeastern states which had earlier been alerted. The remnants of Cyclone Sitrang which caused damage in Bangladesh weakened into a depression over northeast Bangladesh, north-northeast Agartala, south-southwest of Shillong, informed the IMD, the India Met Department. The IMF has pointed out that India is set to become the world's third largest economy by 2028 with a GDP of about 5.36 trillion US dollars, overtaking Japan. The World Bank has stated that India is not as vulnerable to the global economic downturn as other regional economies. Speaking at a Diwali event at the White House on Monday, the US President Joe Biden hailed Rishi Sunak's election to head the Tories as pretty astounding. Biden was quoted as saying, this is a groundbreaking milestone and it matters. It matters. Stay tuned to Janakya for further updates.